Welcome to the brand new episode of the Fight Lounge. I'm your host, RJ Meads. On this episode, I will be talking about the upcoming uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner fight. This match has kind of fell off the radar for a lot of people. You know, and to be honest, Saturday is a busy day. We have the first ever UFC on uh, ESPN card. And so I guess I'm more excited about that than this Pacquiao fight. But this fight is kind of getting no buzz at all, you know, which I think is an important fight because I think the winner of this gets Floyd. I think Pacquiao wants another uh, crack at Floyd and Broner looks up to Floyd so much that now, like the last couple of years, he's been very disrespectful to Floyd and Floyd kind of like laughed him off because he knows he's just a little brother. So I think Broner wants to step out of Floyd's shadow. This fight, you know, it isn't easy to pick um, because both of them, both Broner and Pacquiao, are too inconsistent for me. You know, Broner will have a big fight and he lose, and he currently has some, like, legal issues. And then Pacquiao, he just, you know, since the fourth fight, he I think I believe he had lost two fights. Lots of people he had no business losing to, so you don't know if he clearly he clearly he's not in his prime. But like a part of me wonders if he really has a hunger anymore, or if he just doing this for a payday. I mean, it is an easy payday, so I don't know. It's very hard to you know judge. Frey Roach has uh been back in Pacquiao's camp. I believe they split. You know, I don't think it was on bad terms. I just think they've been with each other for so long. They just needed some time apart so you know phrase back in Pacquiao's camp but I don't think it's going to make a big deal because uh, Freddie's last record of the boxers that he has trained I don't think they all have won I think they've been like kind of so-so so his track record of late hasn't been too impressive but with that being said um, I think I'm going to give it to Bronner I think uh, Adrian Brown is going to win. I got to win by points. I think he really wants his floor fight because, like, when you bring up his name, nobody mentions Broner as an elite fighter. Nobody just do, you know. Pacquiao, I think he kind of living off his name of the past because he definitely ain't the same fighter. He's, you know, not elite no more. He's not in his prime. He should beat up these bums, not Broner, but the people before him, you know. Um, but I, don't, I think we'll, we'll see. It's all about if Broner is um focused or not. If he comes in focused, I really want this fight. That's like so this could be like he wants that name on his resume, on his boxing resume. And another thing, um, Pacquiao and Freddie Roach has been saying how Pacquiao wants to go for a knockout, and they've been saying that for weeks. They say. Pacquiao's going to be the aggressor. He's going to be looking for a knockout. And Broner, I believe, is a counterfighter. So they just kind of just gave away their game plan. Um, I don't know if they don't if they think that less of Broner. We think that's telling what they're going to do. But Pacquiao is the aggressor. I can see Broner is doing the, you know, get the counter. Because Pacquiao has been knocked out before. So, you know, it's not like he has an iron, an iron chin or something. But, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Broner. I think he... Kind of for his legacy, like I said, he needs a big name. And Pacquiao would do, even though Pacquiao is past his prime. But I really think um, Adrian Broner gets the job done Saturday. Be a split or a unanimous decision, doesn't matter. He's always going to win. Before I wrap this uh, episode up, I do think the winner, either, either is Broner or uh, Pacquiao, they will call at Floyd in the post-fight. That's why I... I the, like I think that's why a lot of people kind of know whoever wins is getting Floyd, but I, you know I think either one of them Floyd wins easy, Pacquiao or Broner. I think he wins easy, but I, I got a feeling as soon as they win, unless it ends in a tie. If it ends in a tie, then you know it can't be hard for both of them to make a case to fight Floyd. But I got a feeling whoever wins is gonna call out Floyd, and we will get. Pacquiao versus Mayweather 2 or or Mayweather versus Bronner. And so yeah, that would do for today's episode. Like I said, today's a short episode. If you want, you can listen to my previous episode where I give my 
uh, prediction and breakdown of UFC on ESPN Plus. I have, you know, I go ahead and say because that video is kind of long. It's I think like I believe like 15, 18 minutes. If you want, if you don't want to hear the whole thing, I go ahead and like give a brief su summary. I have TJ Dillashaw winning, becoming the latest UFC fighter to be champ champ or dual champion. Have two different belts, two different divisions. I think the flyweight division will be dead. Um, Greg Hardy, he makes his debut. I believe he wins the knockout within the first round. And th th that's about it. If you want to know more about the future of, you know, US UFC and ESPN relationship and how I think this will be the last championship match on ESPN Plus, go ahead and listen to that. Like this, 18 minutes is 15 minutes long. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this one. It's a quick episode. Um, so, yeah, go follow us on all social medias. Fight Lounge on YouTube. Just type the search Fight Lounge. Fight Lounge on Twitter. Fight Lounge on IG. And so that would do for today's episode. The next podcast I will have might be for the next uh, Bellator event. Uh, former WWE wrestler or champion uh, Jack Swagger makes his debut. Of course, I got to talk about that. In the main event. Uh, Ryan Bader versus Fedor and Mianeko for the Bellator Heavyweight Championship. I hope I pronounced his last name right. If not, I'll get correct by time, you know. It is fight week. So, yeah, that do for today's episode. I want to thank everybody who listened. Follow us on all social media. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.